Hey everyone, this is Paula from Ortho Eval Pal. I want to show you today an evaluation that I'm doing on Mike here who injured his knee about four weeks ago, correct? And uh, Mike is 55 years old. He was lifting on a boat and trying to push it back into the water and when he did that, slipped and had an episode of significant pain, a little bit of instability, fell right down um, after that, limping. Lots of bruising over the distal quad and even on the inside of the knee here. Um, it's really, the swelling is was worse, it's still pretty predominant here. Um, and so what I wanna do is just go through a brief evaluation. Um, he has difficulty going downstairs, going down a decline, the leg feels like he wants to give out, correct? Um, and so, uh, we're just going to do a quick evaluation here, talk about what we think this is and uh, what direction we're going to head in. Okay, so the first thing I do is I ask him to tighten this muscle for me and he is able to tighten that muscle. Okay, now I want you to rest. Can you slide your heel toward your bottom? Okay, does okay with that but has a lot of tightness right through here. You can see a little discoloration, a little swelling right in that area. Now can we let the leg straight out? Hard to do when you let it out, isn't it? It is. Okay. Now, can you keep that leg straight and lift it straight up for me? And a little bit slower, go back down. And that's as straight as you can get it. Yep. So he can't fully extend it, and he can on this side. Nice. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is just a little ligament evaluation. So we're going to do his medial capsule. So a little valgus stress. I'm going to flex him to 20, 30 degrees. Still good stability here. Compared to the other side, they're the same. We're gonna do a little varus stress at zero for the capsule, varus at 20, and that lateral collateral looks good. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is just check his ACL. So I'm gonna have you relax that leg. And he has a nice end point here, okay? I get a nice click and nice end point compared to the other side, it's the same. So, with that being said, having lots of swelling here and the lack of extension, I'm going to just palpate here. So I'm gonna start with his patella and here is the superior ridge of the patella. Now what I'm feeling right now is that the kneecap is popped up just a little bit over here, not settled back very well. So if I just go superior to that, you can see here, does that hurt? No. It's not very painful, but I can get right down to his femur, okay? So there's really no good integrity between the superior patella and his quad. So as you can see right here, lots of swelling, lots of tightness in here, but quite the divot, okay? So if I do it on this side, we have a nice tenderness, you know, muscular tenderness tissue, not a lot of swelling. So the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ex have him keep the knee like this, okay? Now, can you hold it there? You can see the divot now. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna give him a little bit of resistance nope. and it, it no, starts to hurt, okay. okay. So it's painful and it's also very weak. So with that being said, I'm very suspicious that he has a partial quad rupture here where you can see the divot when you put the finger in here, significant swelling, the lack of extension, the, the extensor lag, the inability to straighten it all the way all classic signs of a quad rupture. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get him over to an orthopedist and um, you know, hopefully get an MRI on this, take a look at the severity and uh, confirm our clinical exam. Uh, the other things we wanted to rule out were a blood clot, so he has a negative Homan sign back here. He has um, a little bit of fullness to the back of his knee, but nothing to uh, worry about there. Hamstrings are intact and he has no hip or low back problems, no tingling or radicular pain down the leg or symptoms down the leg. So very isolated to this. He's done, you know, remarkably well to get through four weeks um, before, um, you know, having this uh, looked at by us. So uh, he's a pretty tough guy, but you'll notice that his gait is also quite altered too when he walks. So uh, we got to get this taken care of. And uh, if you have any questions, leave that in the comment section in the uh, links below. If you like today's video, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks.